Good evening, dear audience. Erjan Kaya, former Deputy Undersecretary of the Ministry of Interior, testified at the Istanbul State Security Court substitute judge this morning. As it is known, an investigation was launched against Erjan Kaya for extorting money from some businessmen who were alleged to be involved in illegal activities such as arms and drug smuggling through threats and blackmail and to make an organization for this purpose. In the investigation opened, it was emphasized that a list of famous names of the underground world was prepared including the names of Erjan Kaya and some of his former colleagues. Allegedly, the people in question could have their names. Removed from the list by paying high prices, otherwise they were threatened with death. In his statement to the substitute judge, Cork Masby Chen denied the accusations against him. These are just lies and slanders. We've fought against terrorism for years. We served this state with honor at the cost of our lives. Fortunately, we're, we are innocent and uh, guilt-free. Apparently, the people who uh, we hurt during those times but, but want Mr. us to pay for it. But Mr. That's all. Sir, they say that you will give a statement to Research Commission. Is it true? I am ready to testify any time they want. We are here for justice. Hello? We have endless trust in you? justice. Yes, sir. Yes, it's on. I was watching him. There are rumors about a list. What do you think about that? What, what, list, what list are you talking about? Sir. Fuck. Sir, Fuck your lies, asshole. There is no list. I don't know who Behe Sukhjan is. Uh, I just saw him on the news, that's it. Uh, I've never met the man donkey? in my life. From rumors, we were just together yesterday. I said, I said I don't know him. I don't know him, Bastard. He knew who I was when taking the money. The Communication 2002 Fair, starting on the 15th of the month, visitors are intensive. They are getting closer. Last 200 meters in the middle lane. Over and out. Copy that. Over. Remember, it is an armored car. Take the man outside. Outside. Be on alert. Leave here before the actual police come and find you. Okay, boss. I don't want it to be loud. Handle it in silence. Okay, boss. Understood, boss. Pop the trunks in. We know what you lawyers can't do with money. Anyway, they won't touch me anymore. The way, the way he looks on TV, it's like, it's like an angel. Uh, you should look at his face closely. Your blood would boil, you know. The list, of course there is a list. And it is pretty long. It is, it is a death list. And our name was at the top of it. Behistorcha. We got over it, but it was really expensive. Yes, they deleted my name. You give them ten million dollars, and they delete you. Never mind. Take care of the cases. 
I will provide my life support. Watch the road, you stupid. Do you want to die? Sorry, sir. Keep going. That thing. Like I said, we paid its price. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Huh? What is that? It's a police search, sir. Traffic? No. I got sick up there. Good day, sir. Good day. Is there a problem, officer? We are making a search. Can you please get out of the car? My name is Behich Turkcan. Yes, I know who you are. How are you? I have a licensed gun on me. Well, can I see it? The gun, please. Thank you. Wait, please. Can you hurry up, please? Don't worry, it won't take long. Behichbe, can you please come to the car with me? Sorry? Why? There is a problem about your permit. No, I just had it renewed last week. You can talk to my captain if you like. There might be a misunderstanding. Just a few minutes. It won't take long time. He's coming. Yeah, you can go. I'll see you there. Yes, you wanted to see me. Nice gun. What is the problem about the There is no problem. Get in. Drive, drive! lovely Istanbul. What can I even tell you? You are amazing. You are big and uh, something. Something crazy. Fantastic. There is no other place to live in. This is the best city in the world. And even to die in. Why don't you speak, Behich? All right? Did you swallow your tongue, you pimp? This city has swallowed many crazy men, Chucker. It will swallow you one day. Don't even worry about that, Behich. I can get along with Istanbul. You think you are a piece of shit, right? Please, Behich, don't break my heart. I just wanted to engage in some casual conversation before you leave. Why are you swearing just because you are dying? I wish I, I wish you killed me like a man. But the... You have to live like a man to die like a man, Behich Effendi. But to keep it between us, you really have no idea about how to be a man. You failed, failed. Do not make it go off, you stupid man. Can't I even kill a man in peace? <laughs> you know these whistles be hitch. They're whistling for you. Do you understand? How is it? Is it comfy there? God damn you. If you are comfortable there, I can wait here. We can even go to Gibraltar and bury you there. But, uh, I say, 
I think you'd be offended if I killed you on foreign lands. Therefore, I think you can come together with the cold water of our dear Bosphorus. Master Pan! What? You fucking bastard! What did you say? Master Man! Yes, boss. Anything else left? We can go, boss. Everything's done. Where is the lost businessman? Behij Turkcan is abducted. Was Behij Turkcan killed? against him resulted in a decision of non-prosecution. One of the latest allegations was that Vihis Turkchan's name was included in the list of businessmen alleged to have illegal activities. As it is known, the rumors of the list, which came to the agenda with the questioning of Erchen Kaya, had been frequently spoken in certain circles, especially underground. Clean, Chief. There is no trace of quarrel and no bloodstain. Any witnesses? A garbage truck. What does he say? Two civil plates. They had marker lamps. They were men who wore police suits in them. Really? They look like the police. Very daring. It happened before. Yeah. Let's see whose turn it is. Weasel passed. It has a tail. It is coming to you. Roger that. Weasel is seen. Get ready.
can't see our men behind. Go slower and call them. Is the prosecutor coming? He is, sir. We would come here for a picnic when I was a child. It would be crowded. Everyone would be here. Maybe they were also here then. Who Chief! Knows? What is this? They stopped the car behind with this. The guards were in it. They cut off their contact with the car ahead with this. Then they started firing. It's a flawless bloodbath. Yes. Uh -huh. They must have been planning this for a long time. They abduct whoever they want. They kill whoever they want. And we are just chasing them. We turned into morticians, damn it. Anders of Koshar, who was once the king of casinos, was killed in a gun attack late last night. At the time of the incident, Koshar's well-known vocal artist Ishtar Sehan, known as his lover, and his four bodyguards were with him. According to the information given by the police officials, there were no survivors from the two cars that were ambushed and caught in the crossfire. Where is the lost businessman? The Big Revenge. Beach Turchan is abducted. Whose turn is it on the death list? Famous businessman Barish Bulmaz from Mardin closed the Chiran Hotel for his son's circumcision feast. Dollars flew in the night when the business, politics and art worlds came together. Whose turn is it on the death list? What do you think, guys? Do you think we are on the list? We must be there if there is a list. How are we going to know? Understand if we will, they face us one day. What is this, making a list and killing people? It's a war. It would happen before, but this time it's more dangerous. We don't even know where these men can come from. It's an amazing day. Such a weather during this season, huh? <laughs> it fills you with... Uh, what was its name? I got it. The joy of life. Right. The joy of life. <laughs> Here, Memati. Keep watching. Your eyes will be entertained. working for the pavement. We will be more careful now, guys. We will, but until when? I don't know. 
We have to do something. Do what? Tell us. Are we going to travel with an army? Are we going to look under every stone? What? I don't know! Dying is not bad. But if you can't do anything when dying, that messes you up. We have to ensure our life safety. If a stranger approaches us, let's just shoot him. Who cares? Fine by me. I have a better plan. What is that? Let's carry a grenades with us. If we feel something is off, we will take the pin off and boom, we will die with those jerks. You said well, good plan. This is... Thank you. Sorry this is horrible. Loss. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry for your loss. You. I am always with you. Always. No matter what you need. I really liked your father. We just had dinner together last week. We still had business to do. My door is always open for you. Whenever you like. Okay? I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for you. I'm sorry for your loss. Mehmet Bey, Mehmet Bey, any explanation? Mehmet Bey, any explanation? Sayın Karahanlı, any explanation? Guys, guys, wait a minute, calm down. Our country has lost another valuable businessman. We are in great pain. I am wishing patience and strength for his family. I'm sorry for the loss of business world. What do you think about the other deaths? Three reputable businessmen. It's a great loss. I want the murderers to be caught as soon as possible. Sir, do you think it's a coincidence? Three murders were committed just in one week. Please, make an explanation. They are talking about revenge no. in the underworld. Underground? What do you mean? They were all loyal to their country. They were reputable businessmen. The Hitchtuk Chen was blamed for drug trafficking. Nonsense. It is said that Under Zulfi Koshar brought gambling to the underground. Okay, okay, enough. Varish Bulmas, who was just killed, was being interrogated for gun Guys, money. do not believe these things. It is really easy to blame people. Do you have court decision? Where? Show me. Show me the court's decision. Don't do this. This country needs honorable entrepreneurs. Do not blame them so easily. Shame on you. How are you going to explain this? Who do you think killed them? It is state's duty to find them. We trust justice. Okay, guys. Okay, enough. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Thanks. Come in.
Your private line is ringing, sir. Keep them. I'll ask for them later. Yes, sir. Yes? Hello, I'm Aslan Akbe. Hello, how are you? Thank you. I want to talk to Second Secretary Ali John Dunn. Ah, uh, he is out of town to attend a meeting. Yes, your friends told me. Do you have a note? I'll be happy if you tell him to contact me. I will. Have a nice day. There is an urgent message. Tell the delivery man to get yes, ready. Yes, sir. It's over. They didn't show mercy on the child here. But... Uh, it does not mean that you must be merciless. But the price of incautiousness is death. I should have been more careful. The ones on the roof were four seconds late. No one will show mercy in a real operation. Attention! Understood. Yes, Commander. Relax. <laughs> hey, what's, what's wrong? His feet is broken, Commander. They can break your other bones if you do not. Open your eyes. Take him. I want to ask you something. If it was not a drill, and if I started shooting that bed when I got in... Someone who thinks about the end cannot be a hero. Sir. Yes? I brought you a message from the consulate. So you're leaving, huh? I was coming to you. No problem. Two years have passed too quickly. We got used to each other. Will you miss this place? I miss Istanbul more. I knew it.
Yes, that's all. It is time to say goodbye. You don't like goodbyes, right? Right. Go safely. Good luck. Thanks, sir. Good day, soldiers. Yes. Yes, sir. I am. Oh, chef. Get in. Thanks, Chef. How are you? Kinda good. Thanks, Chef. I missed you, too. Look what he did. If I knew you missed me so much, I'd come quicker, Chef. Really? You started smiling when you saw me. Mm. Yes, that smile, that's it. Keep it on, Chef. If you keep working on it, you will start laughing ten years after you die. Shut up. Maybe 15. I guess you will take me somewhere nice. Right, Chef? A new place is open. You'll like it. Is that the new place? I moved in last month. Make yourself comfortable. I take what I said back. About what? Your sense of humor has not changed. You are a hopeless case, Chef. It's a nice office. Do you watch movies here? You will have a new duty. I knew it. A different duty. Which one of them is not different? Azerbaijan, Palestine, Caucasia, Paris, Milan. The only thing that does not change is trouble. It is really different. Where am I going? Nowhere. That's good. I missed Istanbul. Don't be too happy. You are going to be far away from the ones you missed. You just said nowhere. Yes. Nowhere to death. Look, Chef, I haven't lived long enough to solve your conspiracy theories. You will die, Ali. <laughs> Who is this man? His name is Polat Alemdash. And he is famous for? For many things. But most importantly, watch carefully.
He is you, Ali. You will die. A new face, a new identity. Your past will be erased. Your family, your relatives, everyone who knows you. They won't be with you. None of them. Understood, none of them. No one will now. No one? No one. There are no exceptions. Why? Because I don't trust secrets. Secrets deceive people. Two people can keep everything but a secret. But you know... We are the same person. You know that. We have always been. Do I have a choice? What about her? I mean... Elif? Yes, Elif. She will think you are dead. Then I am actually going to die. The grief of death would only last a year in 20th century. We are in 21st century. I love her, Chef. She has been waiting for me to come back for two years. I only saw her twice in two years. Not even four days. Then don't waste your time. You have 36 hours. Go and say goodbye to them. Why are we doing this? 36 hours. You! You want such a thing that? I know what I want. Ask me to die, Chef. Want me to die? I'm not talking about a nonsense death. I'm talking about a real one. I am talking about dying in reality. I swear I'll die. I can die in a beautiful way, Chef. It would be so beautiful that even you will like it, Chef. But... But this... This is too bad, Chef. It is not dying, and it is not living. It is terrible. It is terrible, but real. It is an old reality. You know that it is not just the reality of two of us. This has never changed since. Teshkirata Mahsusa. And do not expect it to change. Do I have to remind you the oath you took when entering the Teshkilat? No. No, you do not. You go through the door and take your oath. And when you leave, your life is left on the table, you take your oath. Do you want me to drop you off? No. It's late. I am going to leave. I can drop you off. I will have some fresh air. I see. I have to say goodbye to myself first. To myself. I have to be alone. As you say. As you say. It's such a big lie, right, Chef? It's a big lie. There is only one person who says things, and that is you. It was always you in my life. It was always you since I've known myself.
You don't have a family now. May it be blessed, sir. Here, these are Ali's documents. Thank you. Thanks. Manager, man. Ali is an amazing kid. I'm sure that you will be a wonderful family. Do not worry. Thank you for everything. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. We cannot thank you enough. This is our duty, don't worry. Come. You don't have a life anymore. Ali is not alive anymore. There is no you. There is no past. There is no Elif. Say goodbye to all your beloved ones. All of them. Sweetheart. My dear father. My child, my only one. I, let me look at you. You seem okay? You seem okay too. You look younger. Stop, you liar. <laughs> Why didn't you let us know? Where were you? I wanted to surprise you. I was going home. Then I heard your voice and I listened to you. It was the morning prayer, right? Yes, the morning prayer, like all mornings. My dad. Let's go now. Your mother must have prepared the breakfast. She will be shocked to see you. Do you want to stop by the bakery? Sure, Dad. <laughs> Good morning, my master. Sir, my brother. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, my Ali son. Thank you, Uncle Nasrettin. How are you? I am fine. You? We've missed him a loot. Good news then. Thanks. Two bread, please. Here, my son Ali. Do they taste fresh? This bakery always sells fresh bread, Uncle Nusretin. You missed it? A lot. Longing has a smell. It smells like bread. Give it to me. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, Uncle Nusretin. Zamla, Zam's dad. 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 Do you still go to Uskudar Music Community? Sure I do. Once a week, Wednesday nights. <laughs> I admire you. Uh, I like meeting old friends. I feel like my heart is refreshing. The store hasn't changed. I didn't change it. The life changes quickly anyway. Nothing remains the same from today to tomorrow. Yes, from today to tomorrow. I do not open the store early in the mornings anymore. Only at 10 a.m. You are doing well. We became lazy as we got told. <laughs> we can open the store together after breakfast if you want. After breakfast? Sure. Sure, Dad. Uh, a few don't have other plans. Are you going to meet Yelif? Mm -hmm. I hope your mother is not the Nita who have a heart attack when she sees you. <laughs> I'm coming! <gasps> Ali! <laughs> Hi, Ali. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, my dear mother. Ah, oh, my dear son. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> my dear son. Welcome, welcome. Uh, give it to me. Give it to me. Ah. Come in.
Thanks, Mom. Hmm. Look, I'm already telling you. You will not be right away this time. Wife, do not start torturing him. What can he do? It is the work of the state. Uh, I don't care. I will prove my diplomat son and prudely wander around. Okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't say a thing. Do as you say. Sure I will. You'll see. The state then can come and take my son from my arms, if it can. Don't, woman. Morning, morning. You are going to get us in trouble with Turkish criminal law. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. My dear child, you won't leave right away, right? Hmm? No, Mom, I'll, I'll be here for some time. Tell me, what do you want for dinner? You know what to cook. <laughs> Mm. Eggplant kebab! Eggplant kebab with meat! Rice and judge with it, huh? And bake semolina for the dessert! How am I going to resist dinner? How could you resist two years? <laughs> hmm? You'll do the same thing! <laughs> Look, does Elif know you came? No, she does not. Uh uh. Why? Go! Do not waste time. Change your clothes. Take a shower. <laughs> the hearts of lovers feel it. Do not keep her waiting. Come on! So what? Doesn't our son feel it? <laughs> Is this room mine? Yes. Do you like it? I like it a lot. Thanks, Mom. One sec, sir. Miss Aliff, you have a Transfer call. Transfer to my room, honey. Uh, good morning. Can you morning. bring my tea right now? Of course, good sir. Good morning, everyone. Good, good morning. morning. Yes, it's lawyer Elif Eilul. Ah, uh, final hearing is on 17th. No, it won't be delayed. I don't think they will go for an appeal. Even if they do, the final decision won't change. Don't worry. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Ugh. You are quick this morning. Don't even ask. It's a terrible day. Milton, can you come here for a minute? Miss Elif, Thanks. here is your tea. When is the hearing? On 11. Oh. Yes, Miss Elif, the petition? I will save you from this life. The file from the court of Bringing peace. it. Thanks. I just want to get over this day without a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Do not see it there. Get up. Get up. Oh, your mom wants you to leave, son. You can't keep sitting here. I should go to LA. Inshallah, I will dress you in your groom's suit Inshallah. as well. Inshallah. I should go to the store now. Let's go together, Dad. Okay. See you, Mom. I'll be waiting for my daughter, Elif, for dinner. The petition of objection of the intervening lawyers is just nonsense. They are just trying to gain some time. Do they have a chance? Not a single one. I trust you. Destroy them. Consider it done. Wonderful. Ah. Uh. Can you please help me for a minute? What do you want? The most beautiful lawyer of this city. Eileen! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Darling! <laughs> I will miss the hearing if you keep holding my hand. I can convince the judge. Oh, how? I will tell him that I love you. Oh, what if it's not enough? I will hold a gun to his head. <laughs> A diplomat like you? Don't make me laugh. You are right. It's stupid. <laughs> Use the language of diplomacy. Okay. Let me think. Okay, found it. 
I'll say. Your Honor, it might be the last day of the world. At the hell with all the hearings. We are leaving. It was better. I missed you so much. Do you love me? So you insane. I love you so much. Uh, I have to go. I will pick you up tonight. Don't be late. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Elif! What? I love you. <laughs> Did you miss the neighborhood? A lot. This neighborhood. These streets. I wish I could carry them with me. Who? things you see. I wish I could carry them around like a bottle of water. I wish I could drink it. My dear, it was so emotional. Do you want another tour? Hold on a second. What happened? They need me. The store is still open. Let's drop by. Okay, let me park you. There you go. Nice. It goes like a clockwork. Ah, it's done. You can take it. Oh, brother. Are we going to, was, uh, to hit it when it doesn't work? You cannot hit the right spot. You will take it to someone who understands. You will, you will bring it to me. I'll hit. But brother... Okay, cut it short. Take it home. I don't, I don't want any money. Take it. It was simple. Thanks, brother. Goodbye. Have a nice day, brother. Maybe easy, brother. Hey, voila, brother. Our toilet got clogged. We are looking for someone to repair it. Do you know how to do it? Hi, <laughs> Are you serious? My lion! <laughs> Uh, I've missed you so much, you traitor! I've missed you! Let me look at you. Don't mind me. How are the things with you? Good. The same routine. No one even looks at our face. Sorry, Sister Elif. I lost my mind after seeing my boy. Uh, come sit. Let me bring you some no, tea. thanks. Oh, coffee. Would you like some coffee? I beat the coffee maker up. He's been cooking the most delicious coffee since yesterday! <laughs> Ulan Deli Hikmet. You haven't changed a bit. We'll come later, Hikmet, brother. Ali's mother is waiting for us yeah. for dinner. Okay, okay then. You were going to take me to Europe. We are a bragging about to our diplomat, diplomat French. Just get your passport first. The rest is easy. What passport? Do I need a passport? Sure you do. Uh, but I have you, have you with me. But you still need it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, do you need anything? Anything else? Why would I, why would I respect you as a diplomat? You can't even provide diplomatic immunity for Delhi Hikmet. You are right. I just pretend, pretend to be a diplomat. We are being late. We should go, Hikmet. They are waiting for us. Okay, okay, go. But I am I am telling you both. We will drink raki and eat fish tomorrow night at the beach, okay? No excuses. Okay, Hikmet, brother. You heard me, Ali. If it's in our fate... Don't find an excuse. Stop talking like a diplomat. You won't say we might. You will say we will. I swear on, I swear on Allah, I will not let you come in this neighborhood again. I am not talking to you, Elif, sister. Don't mind me. Huh? Okay, promise. Okay, go now. Send my send my greetings to the ones in home. Good night, Hikmet, brother. Go safely. Bye bye. Don't forget about the passport. I will go and make an application just because. Of <laughs> <laughs> See you, Hikmet. Goodbye. Goodbye. I have a diplomat friend, but but I have to get my passport. You should be ashamed of yourself. Every color and figure means something. Some mean longing. Some of them mean jealousy. Some of them me and deep love. In old times, lovers used to send each other these paintings and express their feelings this way. Which one of them tells about love? This one. 
Hmm. Can I keep this? I brought it for you anyway. Yeah. How are you, Nazife Hanum? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine, my dear son. <laughs> they are delicious. I told you not to eat before dinner. You will lose your appetite, then you won't eat. I will, don't worry. Elif is becoming more beautiful every day. I'm talking to you. I heard mom. I am not wasting her time, huh? I'm not stalling. Did you propose? No. All right, keep waiting. Do not hurry, my son. She is waiting for you to say something. I'm telling you, she will leave you in the end and you will just regret. What are you talking about? We were talking about you. Really? I was telling my mom to give the recipe of the eggplant kebab with meat to Elif. You might need it someday. Yeah, yes, I might. My Elif, can you take this plate inside? Ali, go and call your father. He is going to starve. My son? You haven't finished your dessert. I am going to explode if I eat more. I told you not to have a bite in the kitchen. You didn't listen to me? Look, you haven't even finished your meal. You are already full. How can I eat more, Mother? I ate everything. Did everything return to normal in Kosovo? Did they calm down? It seems they did. But these things do not return to normal so easily, Father. One of the kids used a pop gun in the street the other day. There was almost going to be an armed fight. So it is still dangerous. A lot. <sighs> My daughter, what did you do about our neighborhood's case? We are going to open a case next week. What case? Don't even ask, my son. I guess it's land mafia. Mafia? Land mafia? Yes, we are dealing with them now. They want us to sell our houses to them. Then then. Ha ha ha. Please, my wife, please, my wife. Why do you do you think it's it's the mafia? There is no right time for that, father. Tell me. Is someone disturbing you? No, my son, no, my valiant, there is no mafia. Do not listen to your mother, she is exaggerating. An open-eyed contractor is string to buy houses for cheap, but he cannot. Thanks to my daughter Elif, she is taking care of it. Yes, thanks to her, she is taking care of it. My daughter, you haven't finished your dessert as well. Thank you, I am really full, but everything was delicious. Enjoy. So, tell me, will you drink some coffee now or later? I always drink it after the dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Father, Elif and I were actually, if you allow us. Sure, my son, sure, my child. You can do anything you want. My mother, my dear mother. My dear son. Father. You won't have a family. woman from Skopje sold it to me. It was a family who migrated from Midya two or three years ago. They call it Telkor. Oh, it is really beautiful. 
Do you like it? Are you crazy? I love, I love it. Thank you so much. I love you. Are you going to give me my song? All right. Why are you so calm? I am. I am not. Please, I know you. Tell me. I... How can I say that? You know, you miss someone so much. Then? Then you come together with the ones you missed. But you know that this meeting is not the end of the longing. You will keep missing them after a while. Do you understand? Is it too complicated? No. I understand. How long are you going to stay here? Not too long. How long? A week. Then? You know. It's always going to happen, right? There is no end. Are we always going to wait for each other in different countries? Okay, let's wait. But but until when, Ali? Why, why are we waiting if we are not going to have a life together? Elif, don't talk to me like that. It hurts. I can't help it. It hurts too much. <laughs> I keep thinking about you. I always think about you. I start thinking about you when I wake up. That's why I keep myself so busy during the day. I can't, I can't help it. I can't resist it, Ali. I can't stand it. I can't do anything without you. Please do something. Please do something. I don't know what it is, but please do something, Ali. Missing you is feels bad, Ali. It feels really bad. Take me with you. Or come. Do whatever you want, but don't leave me. Don't leave me, Ali. Please don't. Don't leave me. I want... I want to tell you something. What is it? What do you want to tell me? Billy, for him. Yes, you... I... Tell me if it's bad news right now. Right now. Don't make me wait. D don't make me wait for this at least. No. It's not really bad. It's not bad, Elif. Elif, I... Tell me. Are you going to tell me? Will you marry me, Elif? What? What did you say? Marry me, Elif. Marry me, please. Marry you? 
<laughs> you, you, you just proposed me. You, you just proposed me. Say yes. Just say yes. Say yes. I had, I had no hope. Did you know? I thought you'd never propose. Say yes. Just, just say yes. Let's get, let's get married, Elif. <laughs> you are crazy. Right. Now. Right now? Now here. Let Allah be our witness. Uh, Ali? I don't understand. Just say yes. But we have no witnesses. Give me your hand. Witness it, the stars. The beach, the waves. The sky, the wind. Be my witnesses. And you, of the night, be my witness. May the all nights that I spend without you be my witnesses, Elif. May my hands that hold your hands be my witnesses. And my heart that loves you, may my heart be my witness. to go. Right now? Yes. Am I going to see you tonight? Yes. Yes, sure. Mm. Goodbye. Goodbye, my living. <laughs> are you are you sure that you want to go?
bosses of drug dealers. The heroin laboratory unearthed in Lice last year is the largest laboratory ever seized in the world. In terms of morphine processing capacity, his body couldn't be found. And that is with Fukosha. Once the king of casinos. He went underground after the casinos were closed. He was killed. The money he laundered in a year is more than the total loan we received from the IMF. And Barish Bulmas. He was killed. Gun runner who has shined in the last 10 years. After the terror slowed down, he was smuggling the weapons he obtained from the former Soviet republics to the Middle East and North African countries, especially Lebanon, Palestine, and Algeria. A very spiritual community. They were all killed in the same week. I heard some rumors. Ex-cops who made a list and forced the members of underground to pay money. Yes, them. Right. But it's not them. Who then? A council. What kind of a council? A professional one. Each member is responsible for a specific activity. Usrev A is taking care of the drug business. Lazia is taking care of the gun running. Casinos are under the responsibility of Tomba Lajmehmet. Najme and his team carry out the executions and tests. These are all code names. Samuel Vanunu is in charge of stock market manipulations and external relations. And this is lawyer Nizamet in Gubens. He is responsible for the council's legal affairs. If his photo is not published in the newspaper, this pimp will sit down and print it himself. So far, many organizations have been attacked with much less information than this. Right. But, but none of them were strong, were strong enough to take the state. Take the state? This is so ambitious. I know. Who is the captain? Mehmet Karahanla, also known as the Baron. His relations? We don't know much. It is an unbelievable organization. It is divided into regions. It works with the cell system. The council is on top of everything. And this is the Baron of the council. This is the Valley of the Wolves. This is the money shared in a year in this dark and foggy valley of Turkai. A hundred million dollars from blackmail and extortion. Two hundred million from illegal trafficking. One point five billion from gambling. Three billion dollars from arms smuggling. Ten billion dollars from manipulation of bonds, bills, foreign exchange and stock markets. And forty billion from the drug trade. The amount the council controls, along with other unregistered revenues, is approximately $125 billion. It is more than the half of the national income. You can buy anything with this money. The Baron has people at the key points of the political parties. Right or left, it doesn't matter. Do you know what it will lead to? Do not hesitate, tell me. It will destroy existing parties and lead to despair. Finally, he gets involved in politics. He gathers the many placed in other parties and shows up as hope. And he wins. Our brother Tombalachi Mehmet are waiting for your orders. We'll decide to join our council. Are you done with the research? Yes, sir. Is there anyone who wants to say something about him for the last time? Yes, Husreva. Tombalaji Mehmet is a friend with a clean record in this world. Everyone likes him. He is always generous and helpful for his friends. He is decisive, but he obeys the rules. Even his enemies are sure of his honesty. 
And this is really important for someone who we will embrace. Yes, last year. It was 20 years ago. Tombalasha took care of the transporting business of a friend. At that time, he was a young man. One of one of them was a rat. Bulgarian police caught them at the border. They tortured him for weeks. They beat high him up. Tombalasha did not say a thing. I can say that he is a secretive man. He does no breathe a word. Yes, Brother Nejmi. I know Tombalaju Mehmet. We are not close. I just saw him for a couple times. He is a smart friend. Besides, he is smiling and friendly. If there is a conflict, he uses his name and tries to settle it in peace. But most importantly, his bravery is admirable. Are you going to say something, Samuel? Our friends told everything necessary, sir. As a result, Tombalaju Mehmet has been entitled to join our council, in our opinion, as a result of our investigations. Is our brother Nizam going to say something? Our council has rules. However, the oath he will take on the one law that even the council cannot change is the oath of all of us. Understood, friends. Let our Mehmet brother come in. Brother Mehmet, from now on, you have the honor of joining our council members. I am asking you for the last time. Do you know our rules? I do, sir. How many laws are there in the council? Only one, sir. Tell me what it is, please. The law of silence. Say that again, please. The law of silence. One more time. The law of silence. Is everyone here a guarantor for Brother Mehmet? Now let's repeat our oath together. From the moment I joined the council. From the moment I joined the council. I swear that I will see everyone here as my family. I swear that I will see everyone here as my family. Regardless of the reason. Regardless of the reason. I will not take any action against the Supreme Council and its members. I will not take any action against the Supreme Council and its members. That I will strictly obey the orders given by the Council. That I will strictly obey the orders given by the Council. That I will protect the secrets I know even at the cost of my life. That I will protect the secrets I know even at the cost of my life. On my honor and dignity. On my honored and avi and dignity. Welcome, brother, Mehmet Bey. I appreciate, sir. Sit down, please. Still, there is a missing part in the story. What? You know what it is, Chef. We don't want to kill the Baron. We want to destroy him. We want to destroy their everything. We want to expose their domestic and international relations in a way that no one can ever try again. We? Is this the key word? Who are we, Chef? PSO, Public Safety Organization. It was founded a year ago. It has very special and unlimited powers above all security and intelligence organizations. Their activities cannot be investigated. An organization formed by cells. Where do I start? From the bottom of the pyramid, from the Lewis unit of the underground that the council controls. It will be a long journey. Too long. 
Yes. Yes. Okay, right. It is said that the 2002 communication fair, which will start on 15th, will attract great interest from the visitors. Dear spectators, we are saying goodbye to you for today with an accident news from Istanbul. In the traffic accident that occurred on the Maslak Road early this morning, a car that hit the barriers as a result of excessive speed started to catch fire. Ali Chandan, the second secretary of the Turkish consulate in Kosovo, one of the young Turkish diplomats who was in the car during the accident, lost his life. Would you like to drink some coffee? Alcohol? Every person lives a few lives in their life. Welcome to your second life. What's next? If I were you, I would not miss the funeral. Your own funeral. Not everyone gets to see that. want to trace in the valley of the wolves, you have to wear the wolf's skin. You have no other choice.
Mm-hmm.